Gary Porter again. Uh, going to do a video on the schematics. I just want to have a day of dumping information on you. And uh, these are pretty much finalized. I'm not sure what changes are remaining. I've got once I get it, when I get the rotor spinning, I'll know more about heat sinks and uh, how to process the back EMF feedback energy and whatever. And uh, maybe some coil shorting circuits later. But right now, this is where we're at. And uh, page one here is uh, the two drivers. Uh, one's, this is uh, the collector uh, positive, collector and uh, the negative going uh, out to the stator coils. Uh, input A and input B are from the one shot NE5s we just talked about in video number 30. And uh, this circuit is basically right out of the manufacturer's recommended drawing, so it ought to be pretty accurate. Uh, page 2 is uh, the digital side of the thing, has a 15 volt power supply, and uh, this circuit here simply is an oscillator to uh, run uh, the high voltage discharge discharge ca the cap the energy from the high voltage caps gets discharged at a fast rate into the low voltage storage bank of capacitors and uh, this uh, actually this is a wrong I have a switch here that that does this signal or does ground I didn't I've had problems with heating in the drivers and I wasn't sure if it was me or whatever a little LED to show the power supplies on and uh, this page here is the 2000 volt uh, caps and being switched and uh, when the motor is running when the pulses are being put into the motor uh, there are certain time frames when you don't want to have uh, energy going by 2000 volts messing around in here but I've got a this whole thing may change some later on and uh, same thing drivers transformers IGBTs and uh, this section here uh, takes the 2000 well, it takes a hundred volt cap the large microfarad bank monitors it and tells the uh, the 2000 volt caps not the drivers not to switch at, with that high frequency switching because the cap finally has reached its level that's adjustable from this pot right here or here depending on positive or negative and uh, analog section this has got two power supplies a plus 15 minus 15 we've got an LED showing each one's on and up and running uh, these are this was originally the Hall effect sensors but I changed the LEDs and uh, this is where the two LED comes in opto isolator the cap that gives you the square wave on this side gives you the impulse low going impulse fires the one shot uh, 200k uh, and this is uh, let me see 10 10 nanofarads here 200k should give you the pulses for my particular motor design and uh, down here it shows uh, 2.5 milliseconds uh, all the way out to uh, 0.6 milliseconds is the adjustments on these two one shots. And, uh, this out here is for testing a shorting coil idea and I just threw that on the PC board just so I wouldn't have to build a circuit. For that will be later. Uh, this is where the LED sensors come in and then the comparator comes in and uh, this is uh, controls the actual drivers to the to dump the 2000 volts into the 100 microfarad caps anyway that's where we're at so you now have a copy of the schematics and uh, if you have any questions just ask me and I'll do my best have a good day